Today I'm going to show you how to make sure that your new Wix blog has these little social share icons. Um, so this is uh, basically what appears at the bottom of posts in your blog. Um, so uh, this is my particular blog page. So I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm in preview mode right now. So here's the Wix editor. I'm on my blog page. To get to your blog page, um, you can come over here to this little My Blog icon and then click here on Blog Pages and then go to a post because um, the blog, main blog um, just has all the, the um, posts listed all at once, whereas the post is the template for the individual blog post pages. Um, so if you go there, that'll allow you to um, adjust the settings for that. So here these little icons are. The way they get there is you want to click on this whole box. So it's uh, I'm basically clicking on this post template box and then I click on settings. Come up here to display and then you make sure to scroll if you don't see all these options down here below, but look for social sharing. Click here and then you'll see I have it turned on that um, I wanted to show all these links, um, the social media links, and I also have it enabled. Um, I also have enabled the pin it on the images, um, which is good for using for Pinterest so people can pin images from your posts. Um, so that's where that is. To get back, you kind of come here. You can also adjust all these things here. So if you don't want the author name or reading time or categories, um, uh, the, the more actions bar uh, allows, I'm not actually sure what even that does. That puts these little three dots here. Let's look and see. I can't recall what that all does. Let's see. Um, so that allows for pinning and stuff, uh, sharing and pinning to feed. I'm allowed to edit it because I'm the um, admin, but I don't believe that that would allow any public people to use it. <laughs> um, let's see what else is here. So I just kind of wanted to show you all these things. Also know that there is a blog menu. I have it turned off because it does add a lot of extra padding to the top of your blog. So let's I'll turn that on and you'll see what I mean. Um, what it does is it puts a, a little section up here that can include, but you can turn it on and off, a login button as well as categories and so forth. You'll see here I can turn on and off that login button. I always turn that off um, unless you're creating a blog that you want people to try to log into. Um, I would suggest removing and turning that off. Um, there's also a search box which can come in handy, but if you're using the regular search, site search on Wix, you really don't necessarily need that. Um, and then there's the category label. So if you're setting up categories and you want them to show up here, you can. I personally don't like using any of these things. I like to get rid of it. That way you lose that all that extra space up here um, and people can get to the actual blog faster. It's higher up on the page. So I turn that off. So that's located here under blog menu. That is also available, by the way, on the main blog page. You can turn on and off that blog menu there as well. Um, recent posts and comments, you can also turn this on, on or off so that if you don't want people to see the recent posts at the bottom of the blog or if you don't want them to allow uh, do comments, you can turn these off here. Um, design, if you want to go in and edit the design of any of these elements, they're all located here. So the blog menu, which I have turned off so it doesn't really apply. Um, there's also the posts, so you can change your title, you can change your, your um, headings. Um, to whatever size and whatever font you would like. Um, you can change the color of them. So just know that all those options are here. And also know that you do need to scroll because there's a lot of other things down below that are hidden, um, such as the post background, uh, your border on the posts, um, that kind of stuff. So make sure to scroll down to see the rest of those items. And then scroll back up and use that back button to get back up here and get to the other options. Another one is the buttons and margins. Um, so the margins are the space around it. Uh, I'm hoping that Wix was going to add um, an adjuster for the adjusting the space here as well, because we don't have any control over how much space appears at the top of the page, which again is why I removed that blog menu to help get rid of some of that excess space. Um, uh, but it does have the ability to change a color. So if you have that margin is not a color you want, you can come in here and change it. You can also do the opacity to be zero or whatever if if um, if you want it, if you have like a, a video or image background on your page. I'm going to go back here 
And I would say that's about it. So uh, your main thing is where you create your posts and you manage your posts. So you're welcome to, of course, add new posts. But I just wanted to show you kind of where you can add those different elements, um, such as the social sharing, um, as well as removing that blog menu. Um, so let me know if you have any other questions about uh, the blog. This is the new Wix blog, um, and uh, I am certainly happy to help. Happy Wixen!